Hello and welcome back. Uh, we are doing a little early, early start this morning and uh, if you are just joining us, uh, my name is Hoon. My channel is all about making better coffee at home. So this morning we're going to do some something different, okay? Actually, we've done it before. Uh, I'm going to do some coffee recipe this morning. So we are going to make a uh, cortado. So what is cortado? Cortado is more like one part espresso, one part milk. So kind of like one to one ratio. So pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the shot uh, about 45 to 50 gram. And then I'm going to steam the milk and uh, I think I'm going to using Okay, so you can use a couple of different cup size, okay? Actually, no, uh, you want to use about five ounce cup just in case. So you don't want to be four ounce cup. There's, I don't think there's no four ounce cup. So this is three ounce, okay? There's an espresso cup size. So this is a five ounce cup here. So this is really good for cortado. And then if you want to like cappuccino size, you want to be like six ounce cup. So like two ounce of espresso or in the four ounce of uh, milk. So, so this is really good for uh, cappuccino. So also I have another the five ounce uh, cup as well. So they are the both same cup size, but you know, this one has handle on it. So, you know what? I think I'm going to use this one. Okay. Let's use the black one this morning. And by the way, <clears throat> so this is all non neutral cups. I do have a discount code. Uh, bottom below as well. Make sure to take advantage of that code. They're, they're going to give us 15% uh, off, so pretty good deal. Okay, so <clears throat> so this morning, uh, we already dialed in beans yesterday, the Columbia beans. I already dosed out 18 grams, so we're going to do that. Uh, again, we're going to use uh, Rancheria Serbia again, and then we're going to make some cortado, and then we're going to do some unboxing uh, right after this as well. So meantime, I'm going to heat up my cups here. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm using the third wave water this morning as well. So I'm using the third wave water for my uh, water for my Rancho Serbia. Okay. Let's see here. So let's prepare for our shot. So this, this is a 58 millimeter uh, portal filter. So it fits right into my niche cup. Okay. So gently. So again, I'm looking for around like 45 gram yield, 18 gram in like 45 gram out. And then I'm gonna start time or when I start the button there as well. Because with Rancholia Servia, there's no pre-infusion. Maybe one second or so, but it's, it's not exist. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, let's pull the shot here. Got my scare set up. All right, so let's take a look. Hopefully we're going to get the right shot combination. Okay, here we go. Okay. Shot looks good. Yeah, 30 seconds or around 47 gram. Okay, so meantime, I need to start doing the steaming process. So with the Rancho Serbia, if you got new to Rancho Serbia, you have to press the button. Since this is single boiler, uh, we have to wait about a minute or so. So meantime, I'm gonna get my milk ready. Yeah, let's get my milk ready. So I'm gonna be using my, uh, I think I'm gonna do whole milk this morning. Let's see here. 
So I've been making a lot of uh, latte lately. I know you guys already saw my cup of my videos there. I'm trying to work on my latte art, but again, it's not easy, but I think the key to a good latte is make sure you get the right milk texture. So whenever you pour the latte art, just make sure it goes slow, okay? I think that's the key there. Okay, so, okay, hopefully I can, let's see. Again, so this is one downside of single boiler. So you have to wait until uh, you have to enough the steaming built, built up in the, let's say, in the boiler. So uh, sometimes you could start steaming before the lights goes up, but you, you're gonna, you are going to have a lot of water that's going to come out. I mean, let me show you. I mean, like this. So. Okay, like this. You see that all the water coming out there? Which means you don't want this water coming out, uh, you know, introduced to your steam milk. So you want to be like nice and dry steam. So. Yeah, not, not quite. Not quite yet. Getting close though. So, so far, I mean, that's a lot of water just came out, so. So meantime, so this espresso is just sitting right now. I mean, that, I know that's the last thing we want to do, but I mean, that's, some people like to pull, uh, steam the milk first and then pull the shot or some people go out of the way like, like what I'm doing. Okay. I'm just going to check the thing. Okay, I think I'm very close, okay? Very close. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful today's Wednesday morning. There we go. So now we are we are ready for steam the milk right now. Okay, so so this is not like Brewster Express. This is really powerful. It's gonna be ready in no time. There's something I have to get used to. This milk is already getting hot already. Yeah, pretty much I'm done. That's it. Okay, just make sure you need to wipe it clean. Yeah. Make sure flush. And to shut it off. Okay. Okay, so milk is nice and silky and creamy. So let's do some little bit of latte art here. Okay. Yeah, milk is really good. Actually, if you ask me to for me though, okay, like you see here. Okay, here we go. Something like that. So this is a cortado, kind of like one pot, one part espresso and one part milk. I mean, I think my milk was too foamy. Here we go. I mean, like you see, it's more like cappuccino milk rather than latte milk, but that's something, again, I have to get used to it, but it it's overall looks really good, okay? The milk texture is wonderful. So this is one of my favorite drink in the morning. Let's see here. And then sometimes, you know what? I think I'm going to uh, mix with my homemade caramel syrup, okay? I know, uh, I know some of you saw my video about that really easy to make. Only thing you need is the, just the sugar and some hot water, that's it, okay? I'm just gonna put a couple spoons full, maybe two spoons. Uh, if you haven't tried make homemade caramel syrup, definitely I highly recommend it. Cheers. Wow. It's fantastic, okay? 
And sometimes, you know, if you guys watch good latte videos and it may, it may not tasty, but this one is really definitely tasty. Anyway, uh, let's see. Any question about uh, Cortado? Uh, not about the Cortado. Okay. Someone wants to know how you like your Rancho Leo. Someone asked me, how do I like my Rancho Leo Serbia? You know what? As long as you guys like uh, espresso or like, you know, black coffee, long black, I mean, you don't have to um, make a lot of latte drinks, like milk-based drink. This machine is fantastic, okay? They're, they're really nice. I mean, but once you start uh, making, you know, milk-based drink back and forth, uh, not fun, okay? This is not a great machine for milk-based drink, you know, if you do a lot. Maybe one, maybe two cups, but yeah. Not the ideal machine for that. But again, back to if you, you like to have... Okay, hey, cup of latte in the morning, perfect. And what about the um, frothing of the milk, Ranch Leo versus the Bravo? I mean, it comes to uh, milk frothing compared to Bravo versus Ranch Leo, there's no comparison, okay? Hands down, Ranch Leo is by far so much easier and much better steam. But again, you have to control the power. So. That's something you have to learn. But with the, uh, with the Bravo Brisa Express, you, you know, it's slow, but you know, you can control it nice and easy. But yeah, with this, fast, really fast. Is that a cup specifically for Cortana? Okay, it comes to cups, uh, pretty much yes, okay? So there, are, so this is five ounce. So m most times you got a two ounce of espresso and two ounce of uh, uh, milk. So one to one ratio. And then again, so with the foam, you know, with, so you're going to have another maybe tiny bit of a milk on the top, this foam. So this is five ounce cup. So this is perfect size for Cortado. And then, you know, obviously I have different cup size. So this is six ounce. So it's good, great for cappuccino as well. So yeah, so, you know, having a uh, right cup size matters, uh, comes to milk based drink. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, you could use just regular cup. Hold on. Let me show you. I mean, you could use something like this. So this is like 16 to 18 ounce cup here. Maybe it could be 20 ounce. So it's, again, having a right cup size, you are going to make, I think it's not make better drink, but it's a lot easier to keep track of your, how much milk you are, you know, putting into your cup. Okay, I'm just gonna, do some a little bit more cleaning. Okay, so now at this point, if you want to make another coffee espresso, you have to cool down your uh, boiler. Okay, they got a couple ways to do it. You can wait around for a while, or hold on, let me show you. So if I'm gonna pull the shot now, you're gonna see a lot of steam is gonna coming out. You see that? So now water is coming out. Okay. So you cannot do it. So it's not the so easiest way to cool down your single boiler, I mean your boiler inside. Just add, introduce cold water to your boiler by purging out your hot water, okay? That's it. So now we, uh, we are filled with uh, cold water and starting to boiling again. So, so I mean, you have to do some learning curve there. I mean, you have to learn how to and how this machine works. It's not like Brista Express. Brista Express has all the built-in PID. Uh, what else? We got the, you don't have to worry about, you know, wait for the boiler is cooled down because they're they are thermal uh, coil. So there's no boiler inside. I mean, comes to convenience, I prefer the Brisa Express, but comes to shot quality, I think eventually it has a better uh, shot quality. Uh, comes to espresso, and uh, making milk-based drink, I prefer uh, Brisa Express. Um, Jeff says, remind me, you've mentioned before 
I've got Jeff, he's are asking a question here. The espresso shots here are equivalent between the Ranch Leo and Barista. And what if you are using the Barista grinder and not a niche? Okay, so I do have a video on a uh, built-in grinder, okay? So I use built-in uh, Barista built-in grinder for Ranch Leo and Barista Express. Comes to shot quality. Again, once we dialed in just right, I don't think you cannot tell the difference between Ranch Leo and Sylvia. I mean, if you just dialed in just right, so uh, it all depends on, you know, again, it all depends on your shot quality. But, but here's the thing about the shots, okay, coffees. I mean, most of us, like us, we get up in the morning, we start making coffee. I mean, we're not gonna, we're not looking for perfect cup of coffee, okay? We just want to get a good coffee in and out quick. I know most of you out there, you know, we have to work for a living. So, so I want something good coffee and fast. So can I tell the difference in the morning, Ranchelio versus uh, Brewster Express? No, once I'm drinking like latte, no, I cannot tell the difference. So, but fun to use, okay? I have to say Ranchelio Srivia is really fun to use. You have a lot of control over this. So, I mean, that's one thing I love about this machine. And plus this thing lasts forever, okay? Everything's all stainless steel, has a boiler, single boiler with, I mean, this thing is really easy to work on. Uh, hopefully uh, next, next month or so, I'm going to upgrade to PID. I'm going to add a PID right there. So, so that's the plan. But anyway, so if you guys like playing with stuff, you, you like to dial it in just right, perfectly. Rancholia Servia with a good grinder is fantastic choice. Uh, if not, Brista Express is always my go-to machine. Um, Edmund says, what made you decide on getting the Ranch Leo instead of the Gaga Classic Pro? The Edmund asked me why, uh, why uh, Ranch Leo over Gaza Classic. You know, I the thing is I love the look of Ranch Leo Servia, okay? Comes to aesthetic wise. And also there's the height of the pore filter to the base there, drip tray. Guys, a classic is about that tall. That's it. So, has more space between, so I can fit my scale and my cups at the same time. I could, okay, replace with a bottomless pore filter. So I'm gonna save about that much space. But I mean, you know, I do like to use a spouted. Okay, I do like to use a spouted pore filter. So, I think that's the that's also a big reason. I think that's it. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna shout out to Mr. Uh, look like Mr. Thomas is here this morning. Mr. Thomas sent me a little care package. So let me open this thing up. Okay, come from uh, Singapore. So he sent me. I think he saw me with I'm uh, dropping a lot of coffee beans. So he sent me this mat. Okay. So let me show you what that is. Uh, Mr. Thomas, did you make this or did you find it somewhere? Hopefully he can hear us. Okay, so this one just goes to the top of the scale like that. Okay. And they just simply go over like this. I mean, this is pretty cool. Okay. So let's say if you are, you know, measuring something. And then you can, hold on, I, I'm going to find some beans. Okay, it's a little tricky to do one hand here, but he said he found it. He found it. Okay, so I mean, you know, if if, if you want to <clears throat> measure like this as well. There's a sticker thermometer inside the package too. So I mean, you know, th this is actually pretty cool. Okay, so I mean, this is really good, <clears throat> handy tools to have. And then if you want to put some beans in, just fold it like that. Yeah, pretty cool. And also he say. What else? Oh, here we go. I have some, the, this kind of like stick on thermometer. Yeah. I'll go to Celsius to 37 to 70. Okay. Uh, thank you for that. So I think this, I don't know what that's good for because I think that's in my, I don't know. Mr. Thomas, so, so what's this for? I mean, if you have, 
I mean, this is pretty cool. I mean, this is for your milk, perhaps, or for your milk jar. For milk jar. <clears throat> yeah, I gotta no. definitely, yeah, I'm gonna definitely try that as well. Okay. Milk yeah, milk picture. Okay, so, so anyway, so it comes to Cortado. Uh, really easy make sure to try out different coffee recipes so maybe like tomorrow maybe we should do like cappuccino perhaps I, I like to try out different recipe for you guys so you know just make sure you know i want you you know try uh, uh try different recipes at home it's really a lot of fun to make again just by the way just make sure you get the right cup size i mean so again just i mean if you are planning on getting cup uh i highly recommend okay uh, six ounce, uh, six ounce cup. Okay, so this is good for pretty much everything. Okay, this is good for cappuccino, good for the latte. Six ounces is pretty good too, cup size. And if you, you guys like a milk based drink, maybe like a eight ounce cup there. So eight ounce cup is perfect for like small latte, is good. I know if you go to some coffee shop, they give you 12 ounce. I think that's too much. So like get the right cup size and what else uh, pretty much it. it comes to espresso i mean i use this uh, from not neutral but you know i mean you can get a, a lot cheaper one at amazon as well okay uh, you can go with a like double wall uh, one of those uh, double wall cups the small one that works perfectly but something about this a smaller size is really fun to use so okay I mean, if, if coffee is your hobby, definitely I highly recommend invest money on cups. I think, uh, are we good for this morning? My wife's going through some different questions as well. Yes, that is it. Okay, so again, uh, this week, I think I'm going to do another unboxing, maybe tomorrow morning. And then I'm planning on doing some more latte art video as well. Okay. And uh, again, the, the, the latte art is most, I think that's the best part of owning a Brista Express, kind of like making your own latte at home. So hopefully I'm going to, I'm trying to fine tune my technique that, you know, maybe I can show you sometime this week as well. So I got a lot of things planned for us and hold on. And we're also going on at 7.30, I put on here. Okay. So we're. Yeah, so it's so tomorrow morning, uh, so tomorrow is uh, Thursday and Friday. We're gonna go live at seven thirty instead of eight. So that's what plan for next few days. And then, by the way, I'm almost out of my coffee beans, so I think I'm gonna do some coffee roasting this week as well. So I'm gonna we're gonna try out really really fresh coffee beans too. So anyway, uh, make sure follow me on Instagram and see you guys tomorrow morning.